Lesson 7. Hello everyone and welcome to this lesson about relative clauses. Relative clauses can stay in the middle or at the end of the sentence, and are used to state something. First let's start with the relative clauses with who, that, and which. We are going to see each case separatedly. For who, the woman who I saw last year passed away. John who lives in New York, is a doctor. Sarah who helped a friend of mine going to the university, is a teacher. Mark, who lives in the country, has a farm. For that, where is the DVD that was in the drawer? Who was the player that was MVP last year? The car that was in the hospital has to be repaired. John that was outside, injured himself. For which, which watch are you going to bring to the wedding? Which shoes are you going to use on the match? The computer which came yesterday is broken. The game which I want is an adventure game. With these type of clauses we have also have types of sentences that function without them, like when we want to go from the direct to the indirect speech. We are going to explore each case separatedly in the various sets of examples. Four sentences that function without who, the woman I saw last year passed away. John lives in New York and is a doctor. Sarah is a teacher and helped a friend of mine going to the university. Mark lives in the country and has a farm. Four sentences that function without that, where was the drawer DVD? Who was the MVP player last year? The car parked in the hospital needs to be repaired. John was outside and injured himself. Four sentences that function without which, are you going to use any watch in the wedding? Are you going to use your favorite shoes in the match? The computer is broken. What game do you want? Next the clauses with whose, whom and where. As usual we are going to explore each case separatedly. For whose, whose pen is this? Mark whose dog is sick, is going to the veterinarian this afternoon. Mary whose son is going to the university, is going on vacation. John whose aunt has asthma is going abroad to see a specialist. For whom, my colleague whom I had lunch yesterday is sick. Sarah whom I went yesterday at the movies just got promoted. Mark whom I spoke last month is going to travel abroad. John whom I been last year is going to the university this fall. For where, the building where we went last month is going to be demolished. The museum where we went last month is going to have an exhibition about ancient Egypt. Where is the x-ray department? Where is the report to deliver to the CEO? When we want to inform someone of something, we use special kind of clauses, namely the special information clauses. This is seen in the examples, do you know someone who lives in India? I am looking for a company that moves furniture. We slept at the estate you suggested. The teacher knows someone that speaks 10 languages. My friend knows a shop which is specialized in this type of antique. The CEO whom I spoke yesterday is going on a trip. I know a pharmacy which sells this type of antibiotics. Her friend with who she went on the trip, went abroad this year. ING and ED clauses, like the very own name indicates are clauses that have the objective to state, to inform something. This is shown in the examples, do you know who was talking with her yesterday? The police is investigating the CEO because the corruption allegations. The construction company is demolishing the movie's theater. We was treating the leg injury yesterday at the hospital. The girl talked to the police about the robbery. The school board inquired the boy about the bullying incident. The CEO asked the employee about the delivery of the report. The lion is being searched because of its disappearance of the zoo. And that is all folks for this lesson about relative clauses. Until we meet again.